big difference in temperature and it's not even a really cold day outside. Rural electric cooperatives are leading the way with equitable financing models that help their members afford energy upgrades that cut their power bills. The Environmental and Energy Study Institute is helping co-ops design such programs. A lot of it is things the members don't see. Sealing of ductwork, weather stripping in windows, changing out of the type of heating system they have. These minor changes have a huge effect on power bills. We've seen anywhere from bills of $500 drop to $250. EESI emphasizes an approach that makes cost-effective financing of energy efficiency retrofits to be accessible by anyone in the service territory, regardless of their financial situation. USDA is offering $100 million in zero interest loans to rural electric utilities for capital for cost-effective financing. Measures can include efficient HVAC systems, energy storage, and renewable energy installations. You get these big savings where members actually see dollars coming off their bills at the end of the month. Electric cooperatives are, are a member-owned distribution electric utility. That's what we do. So we were developed in 1940. Members got together to provide electricity to themselves because at that time they were too rural and sparsely populated that the utility companies would not run power to the house because they couldn't make any profit. So that's where the co-ops came in. So essentially it started with members coming together, having a need, and fixing that need with developing their co-op, which in turn is where we are now. We still serve predominantly farming communities, um, and that provides us own challenges. A lot of times our housing stock is an older type of housing stock, a lot of mobile homes. So that causes challenges with high electric bills. And it's not with the rate so much, but it's the usage in these homes. This program that we're talking about this afternoon is key. Essentially, your poorest members usually have the highest power bills because they can't afford newer homes or they can't afford to do energy upgrades to their or energy efficient upgrades to their homes to save money. And I think anywhere the co-op can help its members, that's really what we're here for. We're here to help the members. The best thing you do for the environment is just consume less electricity, reduce your usage, reduce your impact. It saves all the members money in the long term and reduces the power consumption of the whole utility. You have to show the savings to the member, but also show the savings to the environment and members like that. And I, I think they, they truly feel that they're making a difference, but they're also seeing that difference in their pocketbook. Most co-ops are going to look at this program as a win-win program for the member and the co-op as a whole. We are rolling out a new program actually next month. We have two and a half million dollars to loan to the members due to these energy efficient upgrades. Uh, your average loan is going to be anywhere from eight thousand, ten thousand dollar loan. So our goal is to try to get 50 homes in this first year and then continue on into the next next year. So as one program gets started and you see as a success, it helps the members and helps the utility. Um, I think you'll see more of this spread around the country. I think you have a significant amount of members that are concerned about climate change. I think you have all the members that look at their power rates and how much they spend for electricity. <laughs> So as long as you tie those two things together, you'll have a successful program. And I think the co-ops are going to be the leaders in that. <music>